Hi, I'm Janet, and I'm with PonyCustoms.com, and this is my video of a restoration of a G1 My Little Pony Skyrocket. Just a little bit of history, this is a Sparkle Pony that was available from 1987 to 1989. Um, this is one of the variations, and then there's a mail order version that had a rocket symbol on her cheek. This is the condition she was in when I got her. She had almost no hair, and what she did have was rusty. She had severe tail rust that had spread through her entire body, and it was easy to see that since her body is semi-transparent. The first step in cleaning her up is to take her head off. You can't do anything really effective until you do this step. I try hot water first to loosen the glue, but if I don't have any luck, I use a knife and make very small cuts into the glue, taking care not to cut the pony's body. With the Generation 1 ponies, once you get it started, you can usually pull it apart without having to cut much more. Some of the Generation 3 ponies, for example, are extremely difficult sometimes to remove the head. Sorry for the blurry video, it does get better. So here I've removed the head, and as you can see, there's a coat of rust in the entire body. It's a nasty mess. I've used a pair of long tweezers to pull out the remaining piece of the tail. The washer that was in there has completely disintegrated, so what you're seeing in here is the rust is just what's left of it. And now for the OxyClean bath. I warmed water in the microwave and used a scoop of OxyClean in a large bowl. You gotta be careful that you don't burn your hands with the water, it's gonna be very hot. Work the air bubbles out and make sure she's completely submerged and leave her there for a while to soak. Now you've got a scrub. I used a baby toothbrush to get the big areas of rust off. And I actually had to soak her twice because my first attempt didn't quite get everything off. You can see the rust was still in the feet area, so the second time I soaked her, I put the OxyClean in the pony body and poured hot water directly in there. And I let her soak for a little bit longer after that. I tried those flossing brushes at first and they worked okay, but bent pipe cleaners really worked well. You can also use Q-tips or whatever else you can find that will bend and scrub. The hemostats just help me hang on to the scrubbers. You could also use pliers, but I like these because you can lock them in place. After I cleaned her up, I added new hair, and then I reattached her head using some plastic glue. And uh, then she was done. <laughs> 